Previously on Real Garbage. His ass winked at me, I think. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> and now, coming up on this episode of Real Garbage, Katie talks about doing nice things for senior citizens. Uh, this is for you! And then Jeff and Katie talk about cloning. Would you have sex with yourself? That's all coming up on this episode of Real Garbage. But first, here's a quick word from our fake sponsors. This episode of Real Garbage is brought to you by the lost art of common sense. It's just gone. This episode... <laughs> this episode is also brought to you by spooky songs. When the crypt doors creak and the tombstones quake. Spooky songs. <laughs> 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 This is Real Garbage. Ahola, everybody. Ahola. What is? What were you just singing? Oh, um, the grim grinning ghost from the haunted mansion in Disneyland. When the crypt oh. doors creak and the tombstones quake, spook some materialize and begin to vocalize grim grinning ghosts come out and socialize uh, <coughs> mm. did they did they open disneyland back up nope. oh yeah okay because weren't you saying a couple months ago that they were going to they were like trying to figure out how they mm -hmm. could go about that and um the governor of california <laughs> Uh, not Arnold. Nah. Okay. <laughs> not him. Listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me. Open up the theme parks. No. Uh, <laughs> um, they had a meeting today, and they said that like smaller theme parks can open up, but Disneyland and Universal Studios are large theme parks. So they said they'll be a like Disney and Universal will be able to open up at twenty five percent capacity once their county in California reaches the l yellow level hmm. and right now they're in the red. Hmm. Um, so see, it'll, yeah. it'll be a while. So if you want Disneyland <laughs> to reopen, flatten the <laughs> curve. I think they should do that with Walmart because I yep. just braved Walmart today. <sighs> no, no, no. I, I'm, our numbers are going back up. Mm -hmm. well, I don't want to talk about COVID all the time, but I'm wearing a mask wherever I go in public. Yeah. And then I'm, if I'm outside, no, I'm not going to do it. If I'm in a building though, of course. hundred percent. There's like, there was a dude, gah, there was a guy driving around on this motorized cart, just going wherever he felt like, mask hanging off one ear, mouth breathing all over the food. That was one person that I was like, oh, I hate you so much. The second thing, there was three. The second thing is why, why do people go through self-checkout when they don't know what they're doing? Mm, I know. There's people with like carts full of stuff and they have a person helping them the whole time. Like, this mm -hmm. is how you do it. You boop, you scan it. Yeah. Go to a teller. Yeah. Get the hell out of my way. Because I get up there and I'm just like, God, let's get this yeah, done. Let's ride. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third, I was telling you about this earlier, was the woman that I saw who, you know, the in Zombie. terror chick. Yeah. You know, in, zom in zombie movies where like the person's in the back room and they're sweating and they're pale and they're like, and they're like did you get bit? And they're like, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just. Feeling a little, <laughs> a little under the weather. She was standing there between where you enter the doors and then that middle part where the lotto thing is, oh, and then the other doors. No mask on, breathing on people coming through. The, I'm like, first of all, if you're sick, I don't care if it's COVID or not, don't breathe on me. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. But she looked like she was dying. No. It was gross. It was disturbing. No. Yeah. I, I, but I saved a lot of money. That's good. <laughs> I saved that's a lot I, of money on my groceries. That's what I hate. I, I went and got gas before I came here. Gas. And gas. And I only, like, I don't carry my cards with me anymore. I just use Samsung Pay. Oh. So I had to go in so I could tap my card. And I go to open the door, and I see this lady coming. So I'm like, I'm going to let her leave first. And she, like, opens the door and is pushing it. And I'm where the door would come back to me. And she's just staring at me wearing my mask the whole time. And she's not wearing her mask. And she was like. <laughs> and I'm like, this is for you. Yeah. Because she's probably older, right? Yeah, she yeah. was. She was like in her 50s. <clears throat> and I'm like, take your ciggies, get in your car and leave me alone and stop staring at my face and my mask. Like, 
Why you wear that? Like, <laughs> go off. I just, just it gets, it, it, if everybody just did it, our numbers will go back down. Right. We'd get this over with quicker. Remember, remember a couple months ago when we had zero cases yeah. on the island? None. None. I just came back. That from, was a couple months. Ago. I just came back from Manitoba. I distanced myself for two weeks. It has been two weeks today since mm-hmm. we got back. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, their numbers are blowing up there too. And you got to wear masks everywhere. And we can't even we're Canadians. We can't even fly to Europe now. That's I bad, know. That's how bad we're getting. We're on the no-fly list. Europe's Damn like it. absolutely not. You can't come here. You can't come here, cunt. You dirty bastards. <laughs> you, you dirty. <laughs> you dirty, dirty bastards. <laughs> What else was I? I was gonna say talk about something else. Um, oh, did you see the story that was floating around on Twitter? It's now blowing up the internet yesterday. Of the dude who was renting an Airbnb, black guy, black guy and his uncle are in an Airbnb, and the white old piece of shit neighbors just walk in the door and they're like, "Excuse me, what are you doing here?" They just walked into his place. And they're, and they're like, what are you doing here? Who are you? And he's like, he starts filming and he's like, are you yeah, serious? Are good. you for real? Who the fuck are you? And he's like, what would you do if I did this to you? And she's yeah. like, well, I would be scared. And it's like, yeah, dick. Yeah. What do you think he, like, and then he starts yelling like, uncle, uncle. And they're like, oh, shit, we, like, we better leave. Yeah. I just can't believe the audacity of some people. I know the people. And I, I guarantee you those types, like that type of person is brushing it off as, well, I know my neighbors, and those weren't my yes. neighbors, so I was concerned about safety. Like, shut the <laughs> f*** up. It was, they were saying that they know the owners, mm-hmm. and this this guy's like, well, it's been an Airbnb for a couple of months because I booked it a couple months ago. Yeah. So you obviously don't know your your neighbors that well. Yeah. I was like, why wouldn't you call the neighbor first? So they're just basically lying. It's straight yeah. up lying. Like, d- don't, if you're, you know, if you're going to be racist... Own own up to it. <laughs> oh man, this new uh, audio interface picks up the audio beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like don't <clears throat> don't be like, mm, no, I was concerned about safety. No, because if a strange white person were in that house, you wouldn't barge in, exactly. being like, who the fuck are you? Exactly, and it's like, like if you were up. nervous about it, then just if you're nervous about it, you wouldn't walk in in the first place. Exactly, There's, I'm not gonna walk into my neighbor's place. Yeah, and be like, you hey, weren't very nervous there, Barbara. Something's fishy here. Neighbor, what are you doing in here? I live yeah. here, Jeff. Yeah, oh. I don't believe you. <laughs> What's new? I haven't seen you in a few weeks. I know. Um, just celebrating my five year anniversary. Oh, I know. It's a long time, half a decade. Jeez, when's the wedding? Uh, after we buy a house. So when, when are you buying a house? Hopefully, in the next like year and a half, two years. Wow. Did you get your coin collection appraised? Not yet. Oh. I haven't. I'm trying, like, I don't want to be like swindled or I don't want someone seeing this and being like oh, she couldn't possibly know how much this is worth. I'm just google it just google what true. each coin and stuff is worth that's true yeah you just do that there and uh, then you have information at least yeah but yeah i haven't gotten it appraised yet however i did for uh prime days order a 23 and me kit so Ooh. now the government has my dna they're cloning us yeah honestly do it like I don't care. Clone me. We might be clones already. Yeah. Imagine that. I just started. Did you ever read Brave New World? Aldous Huxley's Brave New World? No, but it was on a list of books. (laughs) Like, if you want your brain to be (laughs) f***ed up, read this book. Well, yeah. They made it into a series. I'm watching. I'm on episode Hmm. seven. They did a great job. It's basically, he wrote it in the 30s, Mm -hmm. and it's a prediction of what the future would look like, and And it's it's pretty much bang on. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't I could not care less if the government cloned me. I I, I don't care. <laughs> Good for you. You'll have another me. That's great. I actually saw I think I told you. I saw myself once or who I thought was me. <laughs> okay, no, it's weird. So I'm <laughs> I'm 17 I'm 17 <laughs> years old. I just you saying I saw myself once. I'm like no, was, have you was, never looked in a mirror, Jeff? It was another copy of me. Like <laughs> the Matrix broke down, or the there was a split in the uh, in the f- fabric between dimensions, mm-hmm. and I kept getting phone calls at my parents' place back when, when smartphones weren't around. Cell phones. I didn't have a cell phone. <clears throat> I would wake up, you know, at like eleven o'clock in the morning, and phone me ringing. My friend would be like, "Hey, I just saw you on 18th Street driving your little blue Mazda RX-7 waving at you for five minutes. You weren't even waving. You were looking at me like I was crazy. I'm like, 
buddy, I just woke up. Like, what are what you talking about? The f- <laughs> this happened a couple times. So th- after the third time, I'm like, okay, there's obviously somebody who has the exact same car as me that looks like me. Whoa. And one day I'm driving up 18th Street, I'm at a red light, <clears throat> and I'm changing CDs. This is back when CDs were a thing. And I like look up and I'm like, what the what the hell is that? And it's me in my car, the exact same little blue two-door Mazda RX-7. Dude looks just like me. We're, we kind of look at each other and, and just do like the... And we nod. And <laughs> nobody ever saw him again. And I never saw him again. It's like he vanished back into the other dimension. It was wild. I should have just spun around and chased him down and been like, yeah. Who are you? Yeah. Tell me your name. What do you it want? Was, it was crazy. It was the Whoa. weirdest thing. I had like three different people say like, I just saw you in your car. Why are you being a dick? I'm like, I'm not being a dick. I'm at home. <laughs> I have no what do idea. you mean? Oh my God. Yeah, it was wild. That was that was 21 years ago. I haven't, I haven't met another me yet. And honestly, another reason I'm okay with being cloned is like do it. The only thing I wouldn't be okay with is if that clone ended up better off in life than I am. Then I'd kill my clone. I'd be like, absolutely the fuck <clears throat> not. Would you have sex with yourself? <laughs> I don't. I mean, <laughs> it's such a such a conceited thing. You're like, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm like, <clears throat> maybe. <laughs> I probably, yeah. Honestly, I would. <laughs> I would. <laughs> and then I'd be like, to all those people who told me to go f- myself, I did. And it I was did great. It. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 10 out of 10 would do again. <laughs> okay. Um, this, I, I'm glad you brought me a burger and onion yeah. rings to make me a little food. less hyper and, and wound up. And cheesecake. Be- oh, that was pretty good. I know. Those toasted marshmallows. Because this movie that you made me watch yesterday... I know. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> in my in my defense. Okay. In my defense. When I picked it, it's no longer on Netflix's top 10 Canada. I wonder why. Ugh. But when I picked it, it was on Canada's top 10 list. And when I picked it, it had already been on the list for like a week or two. Because it just came out, right? Like, it's, it's yeah. 2020, but yeah. it's been out for, what, like a couple weeks? Yeah. So I was thinking, Ugh. okay, this is good. It's been on the list for a couple weeks. It's still there. That must mean it's good and people are watching it. <laughs> and the other stuff on the list, I was like, okay, <clears throat> that's good. I've watched that. That has good reviews. Cool. We'll actually do a good action thriller spoopy movie for Halloween. No! I've never been more angry and bored at the and same time. Holy. This was like a set a new record for me. I think I checked the remaining time a dozen to 15 times. Yeah. And t- honestly, I think it went back at one point. I was yeah. like, oh, there's only 36 minutes left. And then I checked later. It's like 38. Yeah. Oh, no. And the craziest thing is it was only an hour and 29 minutes long. <laughs> I felt like I was in an episode of Black Mirror watching this. Yeah. Because this was like, they just rinsed and repeated the same thing three times in this movie. Mm-hmm. <sighs> We watched Survive the Night, everybody. And uh, yeah, you're like Bruce Willis. Chad Michael Murray. Chad Michael Vincent. um, Chad (laughs) Michael Murray. And then a bunch of, oh, actually, the the one girl, the one who played Jan, I like looked at her IMDb. She was from Van Wilder. Do you remember? uh, Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? Anything at all? Is there anything I can do for you? That was her. That was Lindsay. She was Lindsay. Anything I can do for you? Anything at all? Is there anything I can do for you? That was her. I was like, I know her from somewhere. But okay, I I want to I want to try to explain to the yeah. viewers and listeners what this movie is about. So, Survive the Night <clears throat> is the story of two brothers, two yeah. brothers. Two brothers who steal money from somebody we don't know or somewhere we're never told mm-hmm. and plan to escape to Mexico. They stop along the way at a gas station, get in a shootout, get shot, go to a clinic, the clinic's closed. They follow a doctor to his house and then decide to break in and force the doctor to do surgery on the brother's leg. And then the rest of the movie is spent at the house with a complete lack of common sense on every single part. And we are dragged through this boring film to an end that just makes you go, huh? Yeah, honestly. You know what was a better? <laughs> you know what was a better movie? Sinister 2. Uh, derailed anything we've watched. Yeah. Anything. But 
in in seriousness, a good movie, obviously. But you know what was better at a small ensemble cast just in one location at a house as mm. a thriller? Uh, the Purge. No. What? But that's a good one. It's better than this. True. That's so sad um, to say. It's better Antigonish. than this. Antigonish. Yeah, that was great. Even that was <laughs> better. Well, you two can watch Annie Ganesh. Yeah. I mean, I'm in it. I thought it was good. I disturbed my parents with my performance. Yeah. I'm behind the scenes just <laughs> make up. But this movie, wow. I, like... It was bad. Oh, let's just jump right into it. Let's ride. Uh, so we, okay, we start off with a scene from 45 minutes into the movie. Yeah. You're like, okay, cool. And it's like, they're gonna about to cut into somebody's leg. And it's like, boom, survive the night. And we're like, okay. Hey. So I'm thinking to myself, is was that something that's happened already? Is it something that's right? going to happen? You and then know. fade up from black to this car driving into a parking lot. And the one guy gets out of the car and is like, woo! And gets back in the car. <laughs> and they're talking about, they're, yeah, yeah, okay, you just murdered somebody by the sounds of it? Yeah. Or stole their money or no, something? Well, knowing that one brother, yeah, probably murdered He's just a someone. psychopath. Yeah. Um. Why would you stop, get out, draw attention to yourself, and get back in the car and sit there for five minutes I discussing know. what you're going to do next? Yell in the car. Yeah. On the way to Mexico. So we get a little backstory. They're like, yeah, we didn't know he had a gun. Yeah, we shot him. Blah, blah, blah. Got his money. It's more than more than we need. Okay, cool. Let's go to Mexico. Boom. Then we flash to the house of the other characters, mm-hmm. and we get a little backstory of, like, the, I guess, the doctor... Lost his job for Mal- some reason. Malpractice was it lawsuit. malpractice? Mm-hmm. Oh, a lawsuit. That's right. We they touch on that a little bit, and he's like, "You should get a lawyer for that." Yeah. If you weren't paying attention to that one shot, you have no but, idea what's yeah. happening. Because all I saw was lawsuit. Yeah. Did it say malpractice? No, but it just said lawsuit. And at first, because they didn't explain what happened, they just the synopsis says disgraced doctor. The wife is at his throat being like, I love you. I'm in this, but I need to know if you're in this. I, my mind went to, he was a doctor at a big city hospital and slept with one of his interns or residents or whatever and Mm -hmm. is being sued for sexual harassment or something. It could have been anything. Yeah, but it ends up being malpractice because later on, spoilers like you care. (laughs) um, Later on, he ends up saying like he was fired and sued by a family because he should have oh my god he's like i should have cut when i or i cut when i should have stitched or i stitched when i should have cut and blah 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 and someone died it's like if you don't even know what you did wrong where did you get your medical degree (laughs) and how i don't know how he got a job so quickly afterwards working at a clinic because his his sister his sister who we never see again sets him up at a job at someone's clinic. Yeah, uh, going into this, I didn't want to know what it was about. I mm-hmm. thought, you know what? I'm going to go into this yeah. movie knowing nothing. Yeah. I didn't read a synopsis. I didn't read the blurb about it. I just hit play and was like, this this can't be that bad. Just, wow. Especially because Bruce Willis and Chad Michael Murray are in it. So what else is Chad Michael Murray in? I've never seen uh, him in One Tree else. Hill, Cinderella oh. Story, uh, Freaky Cinderella Friday. Story. <laughs> yeah. So uh, there's a bunch of stuff like that. We see one thing and then we don't see it again. Like the sister. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a shot of Bruce Willis's Challenger. Yeah. Like popping the hood, starting it up, broom, broom, revving it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then we don't see it again until the end. I almost, at the end, I was like, oh yeah, he had a Challenger. Yeah. What was the point of showing us that? I know. <laughs> Man. So, yeah, we get a little bit, of, we get more backstory. There's a strained relationship, blah, blah, blah. And then we're, we cut back to these two brothers that are on their way to Mexico. They stop at a gas station. Did you notice? I notice this now because a lot of people are like, I didn't know that there's an arrow on the gas gauge to tell you what side the yeah. thing is on. Did you notice there was no, like, unless this car had a, and it didn't look old enough to have a gas tank cap in the back of the car, mm-hmm. they didn't. pulled up at the pumps. There was no gas door. Yeah. So, like, he's like, yeah, Idiots. fill it up. Maybe I'm like, the well, car stole them. Well, if it was, nobody was trying to find them. True. Like, it just seemed odd. Like, they're they're running from somewhere, something, but. Don't know what. Don't know what. Don't know why. And they just have money and they're leaving. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Matt, the good bad brother. Matthias. Have you seen his IMDb picture? No. Damn. It's like huge beard, long hair. I'm like, look at this guy. (laughs) Looks like a total lumberjack. After this movie, he's like, I quit. 
<laughs> you should, because these two yeah. were terrible. Were they, they? I thought they were twins. I actually, sorry to cut you off here. I actually thought that it was one guy playing both of them in the opening <laughs> scene in that car. I'm like, okay, we haven't seen a two shot of them, and they oh. look really similar. Yeah. Is this one of those movies where it's one guy playing two characters? It's not, though. No. But they looked like... It could they, They're supposed yeah. to be brothers, so it makes yeah. sense now. So then the Jamie, the bad, bad guy... The psycho. Yeah, he goes in and Matt's like, don't kill anyone. No killing. Just <laughs> don't do it. <coughs> and don't forget my beer. Yeah, and then he goes in and goes up to the teller guy and harasses a chick in the oh, aisle. Oh, yeah. She's like... What you what you looking for or something like that? Was she a prostitute? I don't see. That's another thing. No woman in real life who catches a creepy ass guy being creepy just staring at her. No f- <laughs> woman would be like, "What you looking for?" Yeah, he, I would be like, "Sir, <laughs> off," he's or like, I wouldn't say anything. I would gauge the crazy, and I would be like, "Do I say go f- <laughs> yourself?" Don't look at me like that. Or would I just be like, and he goes and shrink into myself and be a black hole. Just checking the merchandise. Yeah. Ugh, the the writing in this. I know. was horrendous. Yeah. Horrendous. None of it was believable dialogue interchange between anything. Just, and also I have never met, like I've heard men say cheesy, stupid shit. But nothing that methodically planned. Like, you can tell that that was planned. Like, just taking the merchandise. Yeah. So I can't wait till she asks me, because I'm going to say yeah, this. I got a plan for weeks. Yeah. And then he's like, the, the clerk's like, y'all right there, buddy? And I never understand why people go in a in a store and just crack a beer, start drinking. Like, okay, just wait till you get outside, dude. I know. Because it's, he's, they said, we have more than enough money than we need. Yeah. But he ends up, we cut back to outside, he's, they hear gunshots. And he's like, uh, oh, I, it was an opportunity. I just jumped on it. I was like, opportunity for what? The guy for knew who, who you were already. Yeah, because he said, I'm sorry to hear about so-and-so. It sucked. Like, was that a third brother? Like, It must have been. Because he was like, you one of the Granger boys? I'm oh, like, yeah, oh, these yeah. guys are well-known, apparently. And he's like, sorry, sorry, what happened to your brother? And then yeah. all of a sudden, pow. Well, and he, you hear gunshots, but he didn't shoot him? Like, he yeah, didn't he hit was, him? He was just like... Blah, 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 like a yeah. desk pop in the other guy. Because they were six feet away. Yeah. They were socially distanced. And, yeah. he, and he shot three shots or whatever and didn't hit him. And then all of a sudden we cut to inside and he's got the girl yeah. who he must have like run back around yeah. and grabbed her. And then Buddy's standing there with a rifle or he's sitting behind, yeah. the, behind the counter. And, she, and then just the worst dialogue, like, you get out of here. I'm going to blow her head off, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, he's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. And then, yeah, he does he it. He just shoots her. And then like, Bah! He just comes out commando style and starts firing. Now this didn't make sense. The other brother came in. The Jamie was like, "Hey, uh, you flank him. I'm gonna do this." So, in my head, like M- Matt's here, mm-hmm. Jamie's over here somewhere. But he pops out with a gun and shoots this guy in the leg. Yeah. Like, how did you shoot him in the leg? You're shooting this way. Yeah. So he gets like- shot. Boom! Oh, I'm like, this didn't make any sense at all. I know. Then they end up killing the guy. Well, and this is a stupid mistake. You don't reload in the open. No, you, duck you down. don't. And he's like, oh, better better reload. Yeah. Hey. Have you never played Call of Duty? <laughs> he looked like a nerd. Yeah. He looked like a gamer. Yeah. Actually, I, I can't say he looked like a nerd. I'm a nerd. Yeah. I don't look like a typical nerd. That's true. Me either. I did get another PlayStation. I'm back in the oh. PS realm. Oh. Yeah. It's dangerous. Nice. I, side note, speaking of games, I'm really obsessed with... Among Us and Phasmophobia right now. Which one's Among Us? Among Us is the one where you play as a little colorful dude and you have to go around a spaceship and complete tasks, but one or two or three people are imposters, meaning they can kill you, and it's oh. like a who done it. Interesting. It's fun. You can play on your phone for free or you can buy it for like 15 bucks. Hmm. Um, and then the second game, Phasmophobia, you're you and a team of <coughs> up to four are ghost hunters and you go into a room and you ha- or a house and you have to figure out where the ghost is and what type of ghost it is without it killing you and you use like a spirit box and an emf oh my god it's so spooky and like the ai of the game because you play on comms listens to you so if you're like oh my god this is creepier oh my god i'm so scared it'll make it scarier and like what? it's so spooky so so yeah. you're like, I'm not afraid anymore. And it's yeah. like, he's scared. Let's get him. <laughs> I'm not afraid <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's coming. 
Oh, so this. Oh, yeah. So come back to the family. I have to say, I can't stand listening to people eat. Like, I hate, like, they're, they're sitting around the dinner table and nobody's talking. And it's like, I all I hear is knives and forks. And yeah. Well, you know, listen, Dad. I know. Oh, God. And they're talking about, like, oh, I'm going to take Riley hunting. And she's probably a better shot than you there, son. Ha <laughs> ha. This was just the cheesiest role. Like I know. I'm looking at Bruce Willis going, you were John McClane. Right? You were John McClane, man. You were in Die Hard, and now, now this makes me want to die hard. Oh. I'm hilarious. You could see him die hard and hard kill also out this year from the <laughs> same director. So I don't know. I don't understand why Willis signed up for two movies with this director. The guy's track record isn't great. And this one scored like 15% on Rotten Tomatoes. And 65% from the viewers? I don't get that. I don't either. So the two brothers, so we're just cutting back and forth. They cut back to the brothers. They're taking, uh, you know, the one to the hospital. They go to the hospital. They go to the clinic. Yeah, because they can't go to a hospital. And this seemed a little silly. So yeah, Rich got called in to, to work at the clinic. Yeah. So they would meet. So fortuitous. They, he, uh, Matt goes walking in there and she's like, sorry, we're closed. He doesn't even say what's going on. He yeah. just goes, sorry. She's like, sorry, we're closed. And he's like, which you, oh. if they were closed, you wouldn't be able to just walk into a clinic. Yeah. I was thinking the hospital's closed and I realized it was a clinic. Yeah. Like, why wouldn't you say, listen, we have an emergency. Yeah. My brother's got a wound in his leg. What mm-hmm. happened? He got shot. Well, then but then like, they're like, well, we can't do that. Yeah. So their intention, I assume, was to follow a doctor home? Like, that yeah. was their plan? I guess. I don't Such know. a stupid plan. I know. Like, you could have just driven into a town, go to a seedy bar, talk to somebody, say, listen, I got a bunch of cash, got a gunshot wound. You know somebody? And somebody's like, yeah, I can, yeah. Help, I can help you, yeah. don't worry. Because I guess the city was closed. They said the city. It's like She's like, you have to go to the city. <laughs> Which seemed kind of odd from a medical standpoint where you're like, hey, somebody's coming into a, a medical clinic and you're like, oh, listen, we're closed. You have to go to the city. You don't even know yeah. what's going on. And also, if they were closed, why was Rich just called in? Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't... Mm. I don't understand. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> made sense in this movie up to this point. And then, right and, after... And on after. And then, right after the brother leaves and is like, <laughs> they're closed, Rich leaves and goes home. So why was he called in? She was to a closed the, clinic. The, the nurse was like, "You saved his life." Or something. She was talking about saving his life or something. I remember. Yeah. She's like, "Oh, you saved his life. I can't believe you did that." And he's like, "Well, just doing my job. All in a day's work. Yeah. Better go home now." <laughs> yeah, and they follow him, and he's and they're like, "This is the great idea. It's the greatest idea I've ever had, brother." <laughs> and they drive for miles because they they make sure we know it's like haven't seen a house for miles. This will be so secluded. It's mm-hmm. great. Then they proceed to. Break into the home. So we cut back into the house, and everyone's like going to bed. And Bruce Willis is like, You think we did a good job with our kids? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, God damn it. Just make this stop already. This is like 17 minutes in when they're at the hospital. So this is like 20 minutes in now. And I'm like, Oh my God, there's still another hour and 10 minutes of this horrific thing. And they're like, The daughter, Riley, at this point had two or three lines. Not even lines. Two or three not, things of dialogue. She did not get a lot of exposure no. in this movie. I felt bad for this kid. They're waiting outside. And they're like, okay, we got to go in. We got to get this guy. All we're going to do is we're going to tie them up. No Kill. killing. And no Matt's, killing, <laughs> Matt's Jamie. Like, Matt's like, or yeah, yeah, sorry. Matt's like, yeah, no killing. And Jamie's like, if they run, yeah, what, what if they run? No killing. And he's like, if they run, I'm going to kill them. Yeah. And like, that was it. And then he's like, all right, going in. I'm like, Jesus. All right. Doesn't try to grab him and go, no, dip. Yeah. Do I, do, we can't do this. No more killing. You've killed enough people. Stop being such a psychopath. Yeah. And why team up with, uh, this is always the worst, like, let's go, like the robbery movie trope is like, oh, one guy's a psycho, like mm. Mr. Orange or Mr. Blonde. Mr. Bland. Mr. Mr. Bland. Mr. Bland. Mr. Bland. I was going to say Mr. Blonde. Mr. Blonde. Blown. The blurst of times. <laughs> and yeah, like you team up with a psycho. You're like, no, you know he's a, you've just been your brother for years. You know he's yeah. a bit of a loose cannon, a maniac. Just don't work with him. Apparently, these two brothers were based off of two Lenny brothers. and the other guy from Of Mice and Men. Wow. Uh, Lenny and George? Yeah. But here's the thing. Lenny wasn't a fucking psychopath. Yeah, he just wanted to tend the rabbits. Yeah, he just was like a gentle giant that had something a matter and like accidentally killed 
a girl in like animal. Like he wasn't a freaking psychopath. You gonna get to tend to rabbits, George? Yeah. Sure, Lenny. I just yeah, it didn't make sense. Like <laughs> where where are sense. these parallels? Oh, because they're brothers. Two Whoa. brothers. God. So they break in, and this just baffles me. Like, if someone, if I just went to bed and somebody walked into my patio, I would know. I'd hear it. Yeah. Yeah. You know the sounds of your you own don't, house. You don't just immediately, like, head hits the pillow, fall asleep. It takes... Apparently Bruce Willis does. Yeah. And his wife is instantly <laughs> out of bed, like, ah, better go get some water. Yeah. It takes, on average, seven minutes for you to go from conscious to unconscious and asleep. I've been falling asleep like that all month. Because it's sober October and I'm drinking or smoking weed, it's crazy. I like lay down as soon as I lay on my side, (laughs) out in less in about seven minutes. Yeah. (laughs) They break in and this this the way they composed this scene. So they're sneaking around. Jamie's just wandering around the house. Yeah. Wanders upstairs apparently into their bedroom. Yeah, but we don't but we don't see it. No, and without Bruce Willis, former sheriff. Noticing. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, hold on, because he's sleeping. So we see the door open, and we see Bruce Willis is back, and we hear snoring. So mm-hmm. he's out like a light. I remember that now. Mm-hmm. Then Matt's going up the stairs. The wife's already gone up the stairs, walking into a room, and Matt sees her going to a room and just goes, "Oh!" <clears throat> and then next thing, the next shot is her hitting the floor. Yeah. Like she's been shot or stabbed. Yeah, she's yeah. holding her gut, and I'm like, I assume what's just, she what's was shot. Happened? But there was no gunshot. Right. You didn't hear a gunshot go off. That's that's what I noticed. Mm, and then yeah. all of a sudden, Bruce Willis is like, Gah! like pinning him up against the wall, not trying to hit him or restrain him or choke him or put a, he's, he's like an ex-cop. Yeah. Put a chokehold on him. Put a wrist lock on him or mm-hmm. something. Dis- Disarm him. Yes, anything. But nope, just gets clocked in the face by Matt when he comes in. Now Jan and Rich, Rich. are like, someone's in the house. Someone's breaking in. And she picks up the phone and goes, the phone lines are dead. How? Yeah. Did these guys cut the phone lines? When? Who, yeah. Who even knows how to cut phone lines? Yeah. I don't. I don't. I couldn't find this building's phone lines and no. cut them if I wanted to. Plus, uh, they had cell phones. Yeah. They, they do say, oh, the signal's weak, but it's like, you didn't even try. Like, you And didn't even... also, you can still like dial 911 without service. Emergency call from anywhere. Yeah. I believe that's like a thing on these phones. Yeah. That they never dismantle that. Yeah. But no, then they just uh, become hostages. Mm-hmm. Something like, you're going to operate on my... This this <laughs> line is so dumb. You're going to fix my brother's leg. I don't operate on legs. Yeah. yeah. Huh? <laughs> it's, a, it's a wound. Yeah, you what can, the... F- what do you mean? Like, I'm not a leg doctor. Even, <laughs> even if you were an orthopedic... Sur- not orthopedic. Even if you were a cardiothoracic surgeon, when you are in training to be a surgeon, your first year as interns is general. It's general surgery, mm-hmm. so you learn everything, and then you specialize, as with law, as with anything, you specialize in your, like, second and third years and whatever. So even if even if you're a <clears throat> neuro, neurosurgeon, you should have the basic wherewithal to just take out a bullet, compact a wound, stop bleeding, and suture, like... And it was it seemed a weird Thank tactic you, Grace to try. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "How do you know all this?" <laughs> um, it seems like an odd tactic to try and lie to these guys. Like they seem, it's just, just your your family's hostage right now. Just uh, yeah. How about you just just fix them and send them on their merry way? But instead, he's like, "All right, fine." Like he argues with them first. God, my long hair is getting in my face now. <laughs> argues with them first, and eventually he's like, "Oh, I think I got some tools out in the barn. Let's go." Goes out to the barn and just does a monologue. Hold on. I'm just going to do a monologue first. Like, I can't believe it. This is what it comes down to. And, blah, 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 yeah. and you lose everything. And Jamie's like, come on, buddy. Just hurry up. I'm yeah. like, why is he allowing this? I know. Like, be a badass criminal right? and, like, smack him with the gun and say, listen, bud, I'm going to murder your family if you don't suture yeah, my brother's leg up. up. <laughs> shut up. My blo- my brother's bleeding out. So this I, is... <laughs> sorry. I don't need your f- soliloquy. Yes. Let's move it. So this is the first attempt to try to kill Jamie. This guy was elusive. Mm-hmm. So he's got a scalpel and all of a sudden, yeah, tries to go and he's like, whoop, just backs away and then yeah. boom, knocks him out. I'm like, come on, dude, you're terrible. Like you were, you were right next to him. Just lunge for his gut. Yeah. What are you swiping for? Just go for any, just go for the gut shot. Go for a jab. Don't, 
Ah, little, jabs, little, yeah. jabs. <laughs> little jabs, little jabs, little jabs. <laughs> but now he's like, Bruh, looping like like Van Dam style punch. Yeah. yeah, like nope, didn't work. The next thing you know, he's back inside. Now we have this is forty six minutes in. We are halfway done yeah. this movie, and we see the scene from the start where Bruce Willis has been let go after like having this intense two inches away from the face talk with Jamie like yeah but you'd like to get out of those cuffs and beat me up wouldn't you and Bruce Willis is like just give me five minutes alone with you I'm like oh this is just brutal you had five minutes alone Mm -hmm. you shoved him against a wall you held him there you killed my wife you tried to put him through the wall put you through that wall (laughs) so like yeah we already know he can't do shit he's just old you old washed up Town cop. So we let him, he lets him out. He's like, you can hold my brother down. So he starts to operate on him, starts to cut him open. The first thing out of Jamie's mouth is like, you're killing him. You're killing him. I'm like, he, he's, he's in pain. Yeah. Because he's got a gunshot wound. He's cutting him open, dummy. And also there was like no blood around the wound. Not really. No... It was a weird looking wound. Like a really weird looking wound. Yeah. Like it had already been... Like rotten and then sutured and then yeah. uh, cauterized. Yeah, I don't it know. Was... It was odd. So then again, another attempt, another attempt to get him with the scalpel. Whew. He dodges it. I'm like, okay, this guy's fast. You need a gun. Yeah. But we find out later that doesn't work either. Nope. <sighs> and also, I would just like to point out that nobody, the wife or the kid, is scared. No. At any point. None. They're just sitting there. <laughs> like, hey. What's going to happen, Mom? I don't know, Riley. Just relax. Like, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, you got it, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> now Jamie shoots the doctor in the shoulder. Yeah. And he goes running. And then... Um, wait, wait, hold on. Oh, hold on. Because, like, Willis... Oh, yeah, yeah. Willis gets cut. So he tries with the scalpel. Oh, yeah, because yeah. Rich is looking at him like, don't do it, don't do mm-hmm. it. And he's like, I'm going to do it. And then grabs the scalpel, whoop, takes a swipe. They wrestle into the into the kitchen... <laughs> And Jamie grabs a kitchen knife. Oh, this is hilarious, too. The shot of the knife is like, you see the ha- his hand like yeah, yeah, reaching for it. And then he just goes. Yep. He doesn't even move. He just like all of a sudden just whoop. And I got it. There ah. it is. Ha-ha, and he slice. doesn't stab Bruce Willis. He, he just slashes, slashes him. him. Now, we've all cut ourselves before. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've slipped. I almost cut the top of my thumb off once. I like wrapped it up and went to work. And then I was like, hey, you got a medic here? And they're like, go to the hospital. I'm like, God damn. <laughs> I don't want to miss any work. <laughs> so um, he just cuts him and then he runs. And yeah, the in the mean in the midst of this, the brother gets sh- or the rich gets shot in the shoulder. Yeah. They both manage to leave th- the girls there. They're Third? just like, well, we're out of here. Yeah. So uh, Bruce Willis had the challenger parked outside. Mm-hmm. Didn't decide to hop in there and go get help at no. any point. Just no. ran into the woods. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I wrote, ran into the woods a hundred feet and then howled at the moon. Yeah. That's what he did. Because he was like, brr, brr. I'm like, what are you doing? You're giving away your position. I know. I thought and, you were a cop. And there's a shot of him next to a tree and the house is in the background. So close. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's like 100, like I said, like 100 did, feet away. And Jamie went and followed him into the, f- how did he not find him? It, uh, none of it makes sense. And there was also no <laughs> blood spattered or left anywhere in the house Mm-mm. from the shoulder wound, the gut wound, and the leg. So now, yeah, Willis, he howls at the moon, and then he gets back in. Does he get back into the house, or is it like a guest house mm. that he gets into? Because he crawls through a window. Yeah. And I'm thinking... No, that, that's the house. Yeah, okay. So the porch. he goes back into the house, mm. groaning all the way, like, just, uh, gah, brr, like he got stabbed. I wrote, yeah. he got cut. He didn't get stabbed. Quit being a bitch. Mm-hmm. This is like Grown Central Station here. Because then all of a sudden, he hears like other groaning, and it's Rich coming around the corner like, yeah. <laughs> oh my shoulder Like holy <laughs> You guys You're giving away Your position Now you're in the house Making all this ruckus Yeah How does Jamie not hear him How does Matt not hear him And go like They're in the house And how is Matt Still alive Because at this point thinking. The bullet's out His leg Flesh Is exposed And this The clamps The clamps Are the only thing Holding the Femoral artery Closed mm-hmm. Which is pumping a lot of blood. I don't think those clamps could hold it. Not those that small long. clamps. Yeah. And there would be like a little bit of blood seeping through yeah. it, you'd think. Yeah. Plus, he's lost a lot of blood. He has probably hasn't eaten in a while. He's probably dehydrated. There's just a combination of things. Mm-hmm. He would be long dead. Yeah. So, this next scene <clears throat> uh, Willis takes 
rich to the barn now? Yeah, or Is no, uh, to the to the barn or shed, which is the size of a four bedroom, three bathroom huge, house, bigger, bigger than this apartment, yeah, for sure. And he's like, "You got to help me! Uh, you got to help me fix the wound." So I'm thinking, "Oh, he's gonna he's gonna coach him through pulling out a bullet and stitching him up." Mm-hmm. No. Nope, he's just gonna say, "Pour peroxide on it." Oh, good job, Dad. And then they're gonna hug, and then Wills is gonna be like, "Listen, I'm sorry, I was so hard on you." Uh, blah blah blah. I'm like. Like, do you really need this catharsis right now? No, you don't. Well, it was unwarranted because Rich f- messed this up completely. Yeah. Didn't fix the, didn't save his wife and kid. Yeah. Uh, got shot. Did not save his dad from getting cut. Like, come on. There's no reason. He should be like, you are a terrible disappointment, son. You're an idiot. How'd you <laughs> mess this up? Moron. Why didn't you run? Why didn't you get the car and like go to town yeah. and get help? Stupid. Oh, there's so many things. I know. And this is there's still like an hour, not an hour, but half an hour left in this. Um, and then all of a sudden it's morning time. Yep. So wait, have the girls escaped at this point? Yeah, the girls okay. were hiding in the shed. Another yeah. large property on yeah. the property. Because Rich somehow oh yeah, yeah. Jamie ran outside. Yeah. Rich snuck back in yep. while Jamie was outside. And Got also, back in and was like, hey, we're gonna get you out of here. At, Go to the other shed. At this point, what's wrong with Rich's legs? He's when Bruce Willis was helping him, he was like, his legs were like dragging. What happened to your legs? Because he's a pussy. You're a bitch. He's a bitch. <laughs> yeah, now he lets the girls go. And like, and again, no common sense, no going, hey. Dad's challenger is parked outside. Yeah. The keys are or, in it. Or go to town and get help for us. Or as we saw later on, the their truck with the keys in it. <sighs> this movie. My goodness. My goodness. Mm-hmm. I had so many issues with this. I, I was know. this is at this point I was yelling at the TV. I've never yelled at the TV during a movie. Like never. I think in all of our time doing these podcasts, I've never once been screaming at the TV. I was last night. Yep. I was angry. Same. I just so- wanted it to end. Yeah. And I was holding out hope that the last 10 minutes was going to be all credits. Mm-hmm. But I'll get to that later. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're all in the shed. And... Uh, oh, yeah, because Willis was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to distract him. Yeah, I'm going to be a distraction. Like, okay. So he says he's going to be a distraction. Then the next scene, Rich is jumping from somewhere up high. Up onto... Onto hit. Jamie's back. And... Knocks him over, plows into him with his hurt shoulder, doesn't exclaim in pain at all, gets up and just scurries away. He hits him with something. He hits him in the head with with something. And then just, yeah, books it. And then all of a sudden, the next shot, he's running in the woods. I'm going, how big is this property? I want to see an aerial view of this property. Yes. Because it just doesn't add up. And then he go, and then uh, Jamie goes outside, and then Frank busts out of the garage. In the Challenger. In the Challenger. And then Jamie immediately just goes to Rich's truck with the keys in it and chases him on this further long property. And here's what I didn't understand. Um... How is this race neck and neck when we all know that the Challenger that's been restored is going to be a lot faster than mm-hmm. this F-150? The only thing I thought I was like, okay, you're not going to get a ton of traction on dirt. True. It's the only thing. True. But. But if you have, if you're, if you have the ability and the caliber to restore an old Challenger, you'd think. You know how to drive it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also. This is Frank's property. He should know all the little maneuvers and stuff on how to drive and get away and <laughs> f- up Jamie driving. Yeah, you'd think that. But instead, he was just like, oh, come on. And they're like, he's driving fairly slow. Did you yeah. notice the continuity error with the cows? No, what? So they came around. I had to rewind it, just double check. They came around one corner and there's cows by a tree, a whole herd of cattle. Yeah. Then it like cuts the inside of the car. And then as the shot from this angle gets it, the cattle are running away from the fence right next to where they are. And I was like, wait a minute. Those, oh they're my. magic teleporting cows. Oh they're there. Then they're there. God. Come on, guys. At least, yeah. at least Cow give continuity. us that. At least give us that. Don't try to be super creative. Just. Ah. And also. I'd like to point out at this point, Jamie has repeatedly fired his gun oh. and has not reloaded at all. So six, he just has six shooter. It's a six shooter. Unlimited. Mm-hmm. Unlimited 
Camo. Yeah. yeah I'm glad I knew you'd notice that. Uh, yeah. Never ending, never ending gun. Never ending. And then it's... we're back in the house again yeah. for another, you're going to fix my brother's leg. And I'm yeah. like, why are we? This is where I'm like, I feel like I'm stuck in Black Mirror. I know. And this also, this is just happening over and over and over again. Your brother's still alive? And nobody, like, uh, I, there's, okay. And at that <laughs> point, his wound looks <laughs> necrotic. It's gross. Yeah. Like he, it's he black. should be he should be pale. That's an amputation. Dying. You got we gotta lose the leg. And I'm the whole this whole time at near the end here, I'm wondering what happened in town? Like are the cops showed up to the scene yeah. of the shootout? Have they looked at tire tracks and maybe tried to track vehicles somewhere? I don't know. But that's just lot we don't they don't even give that a second thought. Nope. So now he tries to operate on him, and of course he dies. Mm-hmm. Of course he dies. Because he was dying. Yeah. There's no blood to do transfusions, no equipment. No, like, and now, then Jamie's like, oh, yeah. And the daughter and the and the wife are back in the house again. Yeah. Willis sneaks through another window mm-hmm. or comes through. The, I can't remember if he comes through the window yeah. or a door. Cuts some freeze. Like you got to get out of here. And then Jan's Shh. like, No, I'm gonna go shoot this guy first. Anything I can do for you? Anything at all? Give me the shotgun. It lines it up. Has him in her sights. And and, and Jamie looks over and goes, Oh. <laughs> And ducks yeah. out of the way, and she just and I had to rewind that too. I'm like, what? What just happened? Mm-hmm. How did he get out of the way? This guy moves like Floyd Mayweather, just yeah. just deacon everything. And she and and Rich is like, just run, get out of here. And his unlimited bullet is like, bra, 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 bra. Yep. and then finally he has to reload when she runs outside. And this is when Rich finds another gun. I don't know if it was his gun that was just sitting I think in his it was bag Matt's of gun. Because it was in a bag of money. Okay. Matt's. So I wouldn't. I don't know why Jamie didn't have the nine mil with 16 rounds instead of the six shooter. It's irrelevant now. Yep. But yeah, Rich gets the gun, sneaks around the house, announces himself. Mm-hmm. Like the worst thing you could do. Like, hey. Mm-hmm. And then shoots him right in the lung. And just shoots him once. Yeah. Like you got to figure after all of this, after everything you've been through. I'd be like, well, he shoots him two more times in the house when he's like, this is for my mom. Yeah. But I mean, like that should have been the first thing you like. I know. Been, hey, f- <laughs> bag. And just not even announce yourself. Just shoot him. Yeah. Shoot him again. Make sure the gun's out of his hand. Then walk up and go, you're a, you're going to die. And then just this is for my mom and everyone else. Yeah. And just unload into it. But no, he shoots him once. Let's him go back in the house. And it is like the most dragged out I know. He's like, dying <gasps> scene. I'm like, just, this is where I'm screaming, just die already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then he does. And then it's over. And, okay, so this is where this movie would have got a point from me. I'm like, yes, the last 10 minutes, it's going to be credits. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't. I got to eight minutes left. Still going. Six minutes left. Still going. Five minutes left. It finally ended. And I just went, nope, you get a zero. Mm -hmm. I'm giving, I real rated this a zero. Yep. I didn't give it anything because I hated it. This has been, this was like the worst movie. I know. I don't know if I've picked a worst pick for you that you've picked. This is it. We found it. We, here it is. (sighs) Yeah, I, I gave this. A zero, <laughs> real rating of zero, four bedroom, three bathroom sheds out of 10 lines of dialogue that Riley had. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I Hold on. I was thinking, I was going to give it one. Uh, I was thinking it was like one round out of an out of 10 unlimited bullet guns. Yeah. But it didn't make any sense because it was like, it's just, it was bad. Yeah. A it, zero, just a plain zero. Just a plain zero. Plain zero. zero. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a sub zero. Uh mm. that was survive the night, everybody. We barely survived the I oh night. I wanted to just shut it off the whole time. There, yeah, there was a point I was telling you, I was just like flipping through my phone, looking at Steven Seagal movies I'm gonna make you watch. Yeah. His first one was like nineteen eighty eight or ninety, I think, somewhere back then. Nice. Yeah, they're bad. And like you look at Seagal movies, they're all like five. 5.2, 4.3, hey, 6. Yeah, he's consistently bad all the way across the board. <laughs> if I remember remember correctly, they're uh, they're all pretty awful, but they're pretty fun. Cool. But the next one we're doing, I've picked it already, is Troll 2. Yes. I have only heard a couple things about it. Heard that it's so bad it's good, mm-hmm. but that's debatable and it's got a cult following. Yes. That's all I know. 
I'm so pretty sure cool. that's the movie where the guy with the glasses is like, they're eating her, <laughs> and then they're going to eat me. <gasps> ah! <laughs> well, we're going to find out. <laughs> yeah. Um, follow us on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Subscribe. Hit smash that subscribe smash button. Smash the subscribe right button, there. people. And Instagram at Real Garbage Podcast. Facebook at Real, Par- Real, Real Garbage Podcast. Um, share with your friends. Uh, I, I am... I'm getting someone to draw us a new logo for the hats. I yeah? I swear to God I am. Yes. My upstairs neighbor. I'm going to go talk to her on Friday. Cool. Yeah. So hopefully we got some swag soon. Local supporting local. Exactly. All right. Well, let's end it there. Bye, everybody. Bye. This is Real Garbage. 